Hey world changers, Miss McCarthy here with your Florida Fast Math Freebie of the Week. Now I've created this weekly math video series to help you feel calm and confident when it's time to throw down your best on Florida's Fast Math Assessment. Each week we'll practice a specific question type. Now these videos, they're meant to be short, sweet, and to the point. And if you know that you need more support with the skill that we're working on today, I'll show you where you can access more videos to help you at the end of this video. The question type that we are going to work on this week is, drum roll, multi-select. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it and let me teach ya. All right, fourth grade, here is your problem of the week. So go ahead and try this one on your own. Give it your very best effort that you can. Then come on back and check your work and let's see how you did. Welcome back fourth grade. So here we go. This one says to select all. That means that we are going to try all. All of the statements, these are the statements down here that are true. So we're looking for the ones that are true or correct. Okay, one hundredth more than 12 and 67 hundredths is 12 and 68 hundredths. Now this right here is just a period to close the statement where this one right here is the decimal point. So sometimes students get confused and think there's two decimal points. There's not in this case. There's one decimal between the 12 and the 68. And then the other one is the period to close the statement. So we have 12 and 67 hundredths. This one says one hundredth more. So which digit is in the hundredths place? The seven, right? The seven right here is in the hundredths place. This is the tenths, this is the hundredths place. So if we need that seven to be one hundredth more, that seven is now going to become eight. And that is what we have over here. We do have an eight in the hundredths place. So should we keep this one or eliminate it? Let's keep it, right? Let's go ahead and put a question mark there. Okay. The next one, one hundredth less, I should have boxed this one up here because this one was more and that was true, one hundredth less than twelve and sixty-seven hundredths is twelve and sixty-eight hundredths. So which digit is in the hundredths place again? The seven. And if we need it to be one hundredth less, we should bump that seven down to six, six hundredths. So this one we can say no, it should be 12 and 60 six hundredths to make it true. So should we keep this one or eliminate it? Eliminate it, that's right. Okay, the next one. One tenth more than 12 and 67 hundredths is 12 and 68 hundredths. So this time we're considering the tenths place, which digit is in the tenths place. The six, right? It should be 12 and not six, but 77 hundredths. Is that what we have right here? No. So because of that, do we need to keep it or eliminate the statement? Eliminate. Yes. Okay. The next one, one tenth more, so we're raising it, one tenth more than 12 and 67 hundredths. One tenth is right there, so 12 and 67 hundredths would be 12 and let's bump that six up to seven. 77 hundredths is 12 and 77 hundredths, so should we keep that statement or eliminate it? Let's keep it, right? Okay, cool. And then the next one, one tenth less than 12 and 67 hundredths. So one tenth, the tenths place is, I just spit on myself a little bit. The tenths place is 12 and 67. So that's digit six is in the tenths place. If we are bumping that down, that would be 12 and bump the six down to five. And that would be 50. Seven. 
This is saying 12 and 50 six hundredths. Well, we need it to be 12 and 50 seven hundredths. For this one, both the tenths and the hundredths are one tenth and one hundredth less. That is not what we want. So should we keep this one or eliminate it? Eliminate, that is right. Okay, so now we've done all the work, all of the thinking, we, our whole journey is right there on paper, but we need to make sure that we lock in our answer. We do that by clicking the ones that we said were correct. So we said this one we're gonna keep, the fourth one we're going to keep, and I think that's it, right? Yeah. All right, so the first one and the fourth one are our final answers. So go ahead and make sure that you copy down any notes that you still need to, and then let's close out this video lesson. Now here's a message for the grown-ups in your life. If you are a teacher, parent, or educational leader looking to support your students with more practice in a safe environment, follow me over to McCarthyMathAcademy.com for tons of math videos specifically geared towards Florida's best standards. Just know that I would love the opportunity to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for your students. So make sure that you check out the link somewhere around this video. I know it's almost time to go, but before we go, let me remind you that practice is not something we do once we're good. It's the one thing we do that makes us good. If you want to get better, stronger, or more confident with anything, you've got to put in the practice. You've got to make time and throw down your best effort. I believe in you, and I cannot wait to see you next time, world changers. Bye!